नमस्कार वेलकम टू आयुष शक्ति यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर स्मिता नरम फाउंडर ऑफ आयुष शक्ति एंड आई वेलकम डॉक्टर थॉम मिचर फ्रॉम यूएसए हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग आयुर्वेदा फॉर लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स एंड यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग वी आर कनेक्टेड विद इच अदर फॉर ट्वेंटी इयर्स यू आर डूइंग आयुष शक्ति वे ऑफ आयुर्वेदा एंड ही इज एक्सट्रीमली सक्सेसफुल ऑलवेज बिजी I am happy to have him here and today we will be talking to you all about asthma. So I remember there was this uh, client of yours that I met in your office who had asthma Debbie. Yes. And uh, she became much better just in 6 months following the diet and herbs. She lost I think 30 pounds and yes. then she was free of diabetic but she, that was gone but besides that Her lung capacity, I believe, improved a lot. Yes. Would you like to share what happened? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She came to see me um, uh, for uh, treatment of her asthma, and as it turned out, we did some blood work and found out she was also pre-diabetic, and she uh, had gained some weight also that she wanted to get rid of. So we so I started treating her and just just taking her off. It's very important. For people with asthma to avoid uh, gluten and dairy because they increase congestion and mucus and they'll have an inflammatory effect and they'll uh, they'll make the uh, asthma worse. So she was able to stop uh, those things. And gr- over the period of uh, six months or so, she was she had uh, she used an inhaler every day. She had had asthma for about 15 years, and over the course and she had an emergency inhaler that she had to use occasionally. Over the course of six months, she was able to uh, get off of her inhaler completely, stop, and then she uh, was under the uh, care of a pulmonologist, who did a uh, a study and uh, annually. And over the course of that year, from the time she had it done the previous year, and then the following year, she had an increase in her lung capacity of 20 percent, which is quite remarkable. And her pulmonologist had stated that she had never seen anything like that before ever. So it was quite remarkable. Well, yeah. I I think she she was COPD or something. Yes, yeah, she was actually diagnosed with a severe form of asthma which is called COPD or chronic chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder, yeah. So it's a good case. And then uh just just from those changes in diet, she very effortlessly without being hungry or anything also lost 30 pounds. Yeah. She was really happy because she had to buy all new clothes. <laughs> Her clothes didn't fit, and she went from being pre-diabetic, uh, near almost diabetic, to being uh, completely out of the diabetic range just from changing diet and uh, taking a few simple things. And I'd like to share one other case. Yeah. Briefly, another one of my patients just recently is a ten-year-old, uh, uh, very athletic ten-year-old, who's uh, really into playing football. And he was uh, he had asthma, and he was having to use an inhaler uh, every time he went out to play football because he had exercise-induced asthma. So uh, his parents brought him in, and uh, I treated him, and very quickly, actually, over the course of about three months, he was able to actually uh, stop using his inhalers. He became he was very uh, uh, strict about following the food recommendations, primarily avoiding gluten and dairy as well. And uh, junk food, <clears throat> and um, I gave him some uh, uh, Ayurvedic, Ayurshakti, Ayurvedic medicines to take, and so now he's able to play football as much as he likes. He would have these really intense practices of a couple of hours a day, and not having to use his inhaler. And he's, his his um, uh, pediatrician was uh, quite amazed and wanted to know what he'd been doing. So, uh, yeah. well, Asthma Ayurshakti has Asthma Talks program. Which includes diet, lifestyle changes, and some herbs, home remedies, and detox. So diet, of course, what you suggested is what I would absolutely recommend everybody to stop dairy and wheat completely. I did it with my own son who had asthma when he was just five months of age. Never gave any inhalers, only Ayurvedic medicines, and he was fine. So, but everybody who has this must stop. Consider, like I told Devi, that 
daily and gluten is a poison. Yes. Stop that completely. Ayurveda says that chickpea is very good for asthma, so you can have a chapati made out of chickpea or pasta from the chickpea or gluten free bread, but stay away from gluten and dairy completely. Then you can also do a pranayam, uh, anulom vilom, done gradually increased, can also help improve the lung capacity. Uh, you can also do a uh, diaphragm breathing in which you press your tummy and then you breathe slowly up to the diaphragm feeling that the air is actually completely filled in up to the diaphragm level and then breathe out slowly again making sure that the tummy is not expanded it's only up to diaphragm that kind of a breathing can also help slowly and steadily to build capacity of the lung Ayushabde's Astha Lok Astha Lok is kind of a herb which has actually published scientific reports in a medical journal in America, Alternative Medical Journal of America where uh, in, on a double blind study so there was one group which was given placebo and the other group was given Astalog and in six months time the Astalog group improved, 90% of them improved their lung capacity by 20% which they always check on the spirometer and different different pulmonary doctor checks everything regularly so he has made a remark in the research report because the one was part of that research that this indicates that the internal block has been cleared only then the breathing can go such a deep so uh, that's what is possible you can al always take a ginger water for example 5 glass of ginger uh, water add around a 2 teaspoonful of ginger powder boil it and keep it in a flask thermos and keep sipping this warm water throughout the day that will also help you to clear the mucus and congestion easily besides that you can also take uh, this simple home remedy of 10 uh, preferably Indian basil leaves or western basil leaves if you can't find Indian uh, add around one or two black pepper corn in it and a slice of ginger and just make like a, a little um, pocket or chutney type of thing and just chew it very well and swallow it this also can help a lot over a period of time to clear the mucus and improve the capacity of lung of course I mean for chronic situations you must meet the uh, Ayushakti doctors, preferably consult Ayushakti doctors and take the herbs so that there are deep level of results.